Hey everyone, what's going on? My name is Brian, I'm the founder of NaviUpgrade.com and today I'm going to show you how you can update your SYNC 3 unit that's been jailbroken to have the latest SYNC 3 with the latest maps. Firstly, this method is actually going to be for major updates. So say you're jumping from uh, you know, SYNC 3 version 3.0 or SYNC 3 version 2.2 or 2.3 to SYNC 3.4 and maybe you're updating your maps or maybe you're changing your region or something like that, then this is the way that you're going to update and keep your jailbreak. If you're just doing an iterative update, say from Sync 3.4 build, whatever, right, to a newer build, then this isn't the actual video that you're gonna wanna watch. You're gonna wanna check out this video right up here. So without further ado, let's get right on into updating this Sync 3 module and making sure we keep this jailbreak. So the first thing that I forgot to warn you in the intro of this video is that you will need two USB sticks to complete this process. The first USB stick is going to have our update from Sign 3 Updater on it. The second USB stick is going to have a patch reformat utility on it so that we can reformat the module and keep the jailbreak at the same time. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to set up our update USB. We're going to open Sign 3 Updater. All right, so as you can see, we've got Sign 3 Updater open here. We're on an alpha build right now. Uh, what we need to do is we need to go to Profiles and we need to create a profile. So this is gonna be 3.0 nav to 3.4. Create and set profile. There we go. And now what we need to do is we need to figure out which version of 3.0 we're on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to uh, my sync 3 display here i'm going to go to settings i'm going to go to general and i'm going to scroll down just a little bit until i see about sync and i see that we're on version 3.0 build 18093 so let's scroll down here until we find that and it's right there perfect we are in the united states canada and mexico and this module does have navigation so we're going to hit apply settings and what we are going to do is we're going to plug in our USB stick. Now that our USB stick is installed, what we need to do is, oh, look, it's not popping up there. So we just need to hit this refresh button and then we're gonna select our USB stick. Make sure we select the right region, United States, Canada, and Mexico, otherwise known as North America. And we're gonna do, uh, actually, I don't wanna do the extreme latest version because the new mods do not support that. So I'm gonna go, uh, 3.421098 and we're gonna put the latest maps on it and we're just gonna click start and uh, we're gonna click no because this vehicle is uh, 2019 or older and I know this module is out of a vehicle that's 2019 or older and uh, I'm going to format the USB drive and I'm gonna click yes and now it's just going to copy all these files and uh, if you need to download them, it's going to download them. And then it's gonna copy all these files over onto our flash drive. While this is getting ready, I'm going to do our second USB flash drive right now. So I'm going to plug in my USB flash drive for uh, the patch free format utility. I'm going to plug it in. And as you can see, I've already reformatted this to say uh, reformat dash utility. If you need to reformat this, you can just hit it and go uh, format and choose XFAT and give it a name. Everything's good there. And since uh, everything's good there, what we can do is we can actually open up and go to fmods.net and we're gonna go to sync three mods. You might need to log in or create an account. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go to mods list and we're gonna get the patch tree format utility. So we go here and we scroll down just a little bit and we click here and this is going to take us to a Russian site. Uh, Yandisk, I believe it's called. So beware, you might get these uh, funky ads over here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to translate this site, which it looks like it's already done. There we go. And we're just going to click download. All right, and as you can see, it's downloaded right here. So we're just gonna uh, open the file location, show in folder. And what we're going to do is we are going to 7-zip this and extract to the reformat mod folder. And uh, if you don't have 7-zip, you can just go into Compress Folder Tools and just hit this Extract All button. All I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this, Control C, or you can right click and hit Copy. I'm gonna put this on our reformat utility flash drive. 
and this is all set up now. Now we just need to wait to, for the rest of the files to be copied over in Sign3Labs. As you can see, it's validating all the files now and it's copying them over onto our flash drive. All right, so now that this is done, we can just click no, we're not gonna upload our log and we're not gonna update uh, the current version from 3.0 to 3.4. Uh, you can change that if you want, if this is a car that you daily. So we're gonna click no, and it automatically opens up the Sign Labs website uh, for all their guide and everything. So we're just gonna close this. And we can close this, and we can disconnect our two flash drives from uh, our computer. There's one, and there's two. So now what we do is we go out to our car and we take our patched reformat utility thumb drive, and we're going to plug this into our USB hub. Because I'm on a bench, I don't have a USB hub, I'm just gonna be using this, but it's the same concept. Make sure your vehicle is on and running for this. Wait two seconds, script started, do not remove the USB. And now it says reformat mod is installed. And now it's gonna say, please remove the USB pen drive to reboot your Sync 3. And now we just take it out. And as you can see, when we reboot, it's going to go into its reformat mode. Once it goes into the reformat mode, you can plug in your update from Sign 3 Updater. Now it says repartitioning EMMC, and it starts the entire update process. If you are on a nav module and you're in the United States, this will take roughly 26 minutes. And if you are on a non-nav module, this will take roughly six to eight minutes in North America and mainly around the world as well. And then if you're in uh, Europe, this is probably gonna take close to 45 minutes. So I highly recommend that you go for a drive or do something like that while this is updating. Enjoy the time lapse. Alright, so this is actually the longest I've ever seen one of these things take, but uh, now that we have this green screen, we can just pull our USB, and you'll probably still be driving or having your car on right now, and we just wait for it to reboot. Alright. And now that it has rebooted, Give it a second. Everything's good here. And if we go into settings here, we go to general and we scroll down, we go to about sync. We can just wait for this to load for a second and we can see that we are on a new version of sync. We're on 3.4 build 21098. And uh, as you can see here, we're on the latest maps package, North America 2020. All right, everyone, so that's as easy as it gets to update your jailbroken Sync 3 from a lower version of Sync 3 3.0 or 2.2 or whatever it may be to Sync 3.4 with the latest maps. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to drop them below. Love to help people out down there. If you like this video or it helped you out, I'd really appreciate you mashing that thumbs up button and consider subscribing to the channel for more content just like this. I really appreciate you guys watching and until the next one, take care.